Whoa! Oh, what is up, my little jellies? Allow me to wish you a very happy Easter. Yeah, today we have a very special episode for you. It's going to have all sorts of twists and turns and surprises. So don't touch that Amazon remote. It's time to talk about obedience. I'm Tommy Origami, and this is A Lesson Learned. Whoa, hey again, guys. Now, before we get started today, we really love filming A Lesson Learned for you guys. We hope it brings you joy, and we hope it gives you some hope in some weird, challenging times. Now, I want to remind you guys, again, this is a very special Easter episode. Oh, Mr. Tommy, I love Easter! Easter is so awesome! Yeah, it's really cool. Hey, why do you like Easter, Ono? Well, I like it because we learn about Jesus. Yeah? And we learn that he died on the cross. Right, and he gave us hope, right? And he, and he rose from the grave. Yeah. And Oh. What was that? What is happening? Howdy. Howdy. It's been a long time since I've seen you, little furry thing. It has been. It's good. It's good to see you, Howdy. But that was scary. You surprised me. I'm sorry about that. How's it? How's it feel, Ono? How does what feel? Will you pop up and scare me every week, bro? Well, this time I wanted Howdy to scare you. Okay. How did that work for you? It was scary. <laughs> well, I... Ono, I've got a question for you. You you want to ask answer a question? Yes, I love questions. Let me ask you this super thoughtful, deep question. Ooh, okay. How was your week? Oh, it was okay. Oh, what what's wrong, Ono? What happened? Yeah. And sometimes when we're having quality time, yeah. I get in a lot of trouble. Oh, are you saying that you're disobedient, Ona? Well, so here's what happened, Tommy. I was at home and mommy has been lighting a lot of candles. Right. She said that with everybody home, we need more candles. So I don't know why, but she left the candles down is down and I wanted to light a candle. Ooh. But she did not like that. She didn't like that. No, she said we have a rule about matches. Oh, yeah? She said that I am, uh, what did she, she called it highly combustible. <laughs> yeah, I would yeah. imagine you would be. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know what that word means, but she seemed really, really Serious. Yeah, I bet you. Do you have any experience? He would make quite a little flame ball, wouldn't I he? I bet he would, he'd go up like a Roman candle, man. He'd be awesome. Yeah. Well, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, it wouldn't be good for you at That's all. That's why she told you not to do it. Well, yeah, she. I know she loves me, but sometimes I just want to do stuff that looks fun. Yeah. Well, Howdy, do you have any experience with disobedience? Mm, not a whole lot myself, but I do have an uncle that had a problem one time because his daddy did something real similar to what he did. Oh yeah, what did he do? He told him, he says, I want you to feed the horse. <laughs> so he put the apple there in his hand and everything. He's supposed to keep his hand real, real flat and told him, don't curl your fingers. But he let the fingers curl a little bit and let this say they got a little nibble down. Oh, oh my! Shoot it on his fingers. That's not water. good. No, oh, no. Nope. Not wasn't good at all. Wow. And yeah, you, he should have listened to his your, yeah, to his dad. Look, that's a good lesson, Audi. Yeah. You only want to learn that one one time. For sure. 
Well, that brings me to an interesting question, Ono. Why is it important that we obey our parents? Ooh, uh, so we can still count to 10. Oh, well, yeah, but why, uh, why do we want to, why should we obey our parents? Oh, but, well, because they love us and they want to protect us. Right? And so how do we show our love for them? Yeah, you got it, Ono, by obeying them. And how do you, it's the same way with God, right? Exactly. God loved us first, so we show how we love him by yeah. obeying him. That's it. And even Jesus obeyed his father. Yeah, right, and that's what we're talking about today. Jesus dying on the cross for us and rising again three days later, giving us true hope. That's what Easter's all about, Ono. That's what it's all about. Yeah. All right, we're, me and Howdy are going to go teach a lesson, we'll, but we'll catch you later, Ono. Okay, bye, Howdy! Bye! It was good seeing you again! It's good seeing you, it really was. I've missed you. I missed you a lot, too. Bye, Tommy! Bye, Ono, I'll see you later. Bye! Bye! And now it's time for my favorite part of a lesson learned, our Bible story. If you have your Bibles, go to 1 John 4, 9. Now this is a really cool story. Easter again is talking about Jesus giving us hope. He, is, he gave us victory over death. He died on the cross, but that Sunday morning he arose three days later and had victory over death, and we have that same victory through him. Now something else that's really cool is what he showed us in true love. He showed us how to love one another. Listen to 1 John 4, 9. God's love was re revealed among us in this way. God sent his one and only son into the world so that we might live through him. Love consists in this, not that we loved God, but that he loved us. And he sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. A few verses later in verse 19, it says this, we love because he first loved us. So today we're talking about obedience. And I hope that you guys obey your parents and that you want to obey God because you love them. They loved you first. God loves you and your parents loved you even before you said your first ugu gaga. And God wants you to love them and show uh, each other how we can love one another because he set the example for us. He gave us hope but he also showed us true love. And when we show that true love, we want to obey God and we also want to obey our parents. To help us illustrate this really cool point today is my very good friend, Howdy. Come on up, Howdy. Howdy. What's up, man? I'm pretty good, you? I hear you have a super rad illustration to show us oh. about obedience. I'm hoping to. Yeah, let's see what you got. Well, I got me a bottle of water. Cool. That's that's super cool. Isn't and, that cool? And very, yeah. But watch what the water does. Okay. It fell. That's it. Okay. It fell. You know why it fell? Because it's obeying the law of gravity. Oh. It's obedient to gravity. Gravity, okay, yeah. yeah. Now watch this. If we take that, put that in there. Okay. And then we take this and we put that there and we do it. Look what happens. Whoa, okay. Now wow. what's really cool about that is the water obeys gravity. Right. And because it is obeying gravity, Here's what happens. It actually can be made of use. Oh, okay. Just like it is with us. Okay. If we obey God because we so love him, he can make us more than we can be on our own. Oh, he can use us to become something yeah. better, something greater. But at the same time, obedience, we're showing him we love him. Man, that's really cool. I like so that. All you gotta do is obey. Sweet, very cool, I like that. You're welcome. Cool, all right, well it was great to have you today, Howdy, thank hey, you. Hey, no problem, I was glad to be here. Hey, I've been looking forward to this this whole time. Let's, everybody say bye to Howdy. <laughs> bye. bye.
<laughs> so that's our lesson today. We want to obey God because He loved us. And if we obey Him, He'll use us for much greater, bigger, cooler things. What is up, my righteous little jellies? Now it is time for a very special time. It's called Jam Time with Jarvis. What's up, Jarvis? Hey. Um, What's going on? Can you just push your button before you? No, 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 no. We, we gotta, you gotta face but your fears, I, I, man. I don't want to be on well, camera. I, I know, I know, but you gotta face your fears, man. We gotta, we gotta do this a little. I'm little just gonna here. press the button right well, now. What, what did you just do? I, we Jerry, like like, you gotta obey, man. I thought you liked the gym. Whenever we're done. Then we'll hit the cray button, but I want you to tell the people about the Don't new thing. Whoa, hold on, Jarvis. Stopped it again. Hear me out. Tell the people about our brand new YouTube playlist with all of our cool Fortnite songs and yeah. church clap and all of our worship songs so they can spend Easter together dancing it up. And then we can smack the good old Cray button. Okay, well, I'm gonna say this really fast so we can smack the Cray button. Yeah. Um, so we do have a YouTube playlist with all of our cool favorites and some of our old favorites that we don't even use anymore. Uh, you can check it out. The link's gonna be right below. So check out that YouTube playlist with uh, the Church Club, with um, the Monkey. We haven't done that in a while. Uh, we got right. a lot of cool stuff. And they also have some worship songs on there. So check it out. Uh, the King of Me is a great song that we'll listen to today. Yeah. Now can we hit it? Go ahead, man. Yeah. Well, hello. Charmin. Hello, Tommy. It's time for Craft Time with Charmin. So, what do you have for us today, Miss Charmin? Well, we're going to make a banner, or we've made a banner, oh. but families can make this at home in preparation oh. for Easter. Okay, very cool. Isn't that cool? Very cool. I like it. So, what are all the different, how do, they just different pieces of paper? You just have, yeah, just have your family each choose. Oh, a name for okay. for what he for is. what he is for them okay. sure see so he my is, rock yeah I like it healer yeah savior yeah. see savior yeah and it's okay you can even do it after you Easter can do it too. after yeah cool and I like that tie something on it hanging on your front door for you to share with all your neighbors very cool well Miss Sharman what's your favorite he is word man that's a tough one there's some good ones. Mine is not on here. Okay. But strength. Strength. He is our strength. Yeah. You know, I like especially that. in times when things are tough. You right. You rely on him and he's your strength. Yeah, I like that. Very cool, Miss Sharman. What about yours? Well, I might say he is my light, right? That's a he's, good one. Yeah. And I think we have it on there. Yeah, he's right. my light in the dark time. Even when things are difficult, even when maybe it feels like all oh, hope is lost. He's always going to be there, right? We're always, always going to have uh, Easter. We're always going to have his resurrection uh, to hold on to. That's so right. that might be that might be mine. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Well, very cool. Thank you for making this for sure, me, Ms. Charmin. Sure. I appreciate it. I'll go hang it up right now. Go hang it up, bro. All right. Well, I'll see you later. Wow, that was such an awesome lesson, Tommy. Yeah. Thank you for teaching me about obedience. Yeah, thank you, Ono. Remember, it's important that we obey our parents and we obey God because they love us. And we show our love to them by obeying them and doing the things they ask. Now, hey, you want to hear something cool? Yes! Even Jesus had to obey his dad. Yeah, the night he got arrested, he asked if, if he could do things a little differently, but he loved us so much that he wanted to obey us, right? Exactly. He was praying that if there was another way, that God would do something different. But there wasn't another way. He was going to have to die for us so that we could spend eternity with him in heaven. Yeah. And that was going to be the only way it could be done. 
So he was willing to obey his dad and continue on. Yeah. Oh no, you want to hear something else that's super rad? Yes! Jesus' obedience gives us eternal life. Wow, I'm so happy that Jesus was obedient so we can have eternal life. That's awesome! Yeah, that's why it's important to be obedient, right? Yes! Remember, he's Ono. He's Hattie. And that's Tommy. And that's a lesson learned. <laughs>